Hola, como estas mi amo TJ, a.k.a. BSTMSTR, your friendly neighborhood ninja here on Carnival Spirits. I've got a list of seven ninjas that I want to give a shout out to, and I'm going to try and make this video as short as possible because I lost my laptop's ability to make videos, so I'm doing this on my iPad, and it's going to have to be a one-shot deal. So on the top of my list, I've got Test Dummy 22. I want to give a big shout out and thank you for making a video acknowledging the package I sent you a couple of years ago. Better late than never. I hope you enjoy Juggalo Agenda and all the Juggalo themed, uh, you know, open thank you letter and the tribute music that I made for ICP and Juggalos. Uh, that shit's just something I did for fun in the past. A lot of ninjas really uh, identify with it and have given me a lot of positive feedback. And I thought that, you know, a Juggalo of your stature uh, and caliber and likeness would be able to appreciate that piece of uh, work that I've put together. Um, but your video, you know, inspired me to pay it forward and make an official apology video to Nappy J. That's right, I want to apologize to Nappy J for making that Juggalo Nation 3 is an epic fail video. That was actually a parody video of something that Test Dummy 22 does, making videos like Rest in Peace Psychopathic and speculating about Twisted Leaving Psychopathic. And it just seems so uh, bass backwards to, um, to make tons of videos, long-winded, uh, just being hypercritical and ranting about all the problems you have with something that you are so much entertained by. And I, for one, have always been entertained by Nappy J's videos. It's very ambitious of him to try to do a collaborative project and, and have it make sense. And just because it was a little rough around the edges doesn't warrant the type of hate that I gave that video. I truly feel that if you are down with the clown, that you would have a better um, respect for uh, the curtain that hangs in between the audience and the inner workings of Psychopathic. And at the same time, I joined YouTube already knowing that for the most part, Juggalos, and not just Juggalos, but YouTube, YouTube Juggalos for the most part are not taken seriously. And a lot of people uh, constantly give reasons to not be taken seriously, but Nappy J is one of those ninjas who puts thought into his videos he actually makes an effort to make a video enjoyable to watch with awesome backgrounds and decent editing and and actually bringing something to the table and he says some shit and not just in the juggler world but you know in the political stuff and I got a lot of respect for the balls that Nappy J has and I'm telling you right now that that video where I called his whole Juggalo Nation 3 production an epic fail was not true. I mean, I may have I may have uh, laced that video with truths, but um, nobody is above criticism. And Nappy J is one of the fucking most strong-willed ninjas I've ever seen out there. He will just not let anything stop him. So if he's going to school, if he's you know fine-tuning his skills, I have no doubt in my mind that he's going to do something fresh. And I'm always paying attention when he makes videos, not because, uh, you know, he's got good editing, but because he actually has a brain and he's not afraid to use it. And, you know, so I'm on Team Nappy uh, and I'm proud to have contributed a song to the soundtrack of Juggalo Nation 3. Uh, if you guys don't know about that, then check it out. Um, the other Juggalos on this list are Psychopathic Reviews. Uh, another ninja who has inspired me to put better content on YouTube. His his reviews are off the chain. They're short, sweet, to the point, but they have a little something extra that only an old school juggalo could provide. And um, let's see, CPN, uh, Big Irish Juggalo. These two have maybe on purpose, maybe inadvertently created this um, Jedi Sith. <laughs> kind of juxtaposition, right? You've got Big Irish Juggalo, the Jedi, and then you've got CPN, the Sith. <laughs> um, sometimes CPN says shit that I don't agree with, but he's a very funny motherfucker, and I have to remember that comedians that have come before him have done... Everything's been done before. 
Uh, and so if I can't get mad at George Carlin or Bill Hicks for saying that stupid people should die, I shouldn't get mad at CPN for saying it too. Uh, and, and there's another ninja out there that has my total respect. Uh, n these are ninjas that have been on YouTube longer than myself. And it's not a competition uh, between who's been down longer. But as an old school juggalo who through and through feels that uh, I'm on the Jedi side of things and I'm always looking for the truth in situations and I want to consider all, all things good and evil and come to good conclusions. Um, one of my favorite YouTubers out there is Rain Man. And I got to give him props for most recently making a video explaining his attitude changes on YouTube. Uh, let me tell you something. This motherfucker's true colors have been shown. And I'm down with that. Uh, Juggalo Hall of Fame is no longer on my shit list. And being on my shit list just means that I refuse to talk about it. But let me tell you something. Uh, Rain Man is good people. And, and I hope that he'll fuck with Carnival Spirits because... Uh, he's one of those people that, you know, like, I, like I've like i said, or maybe I'm trying to say about Nappy J, Test Dummy, about Juggalo, um, I'm sorry, Psychopathic Reviews. I've got a list right here in front of me. The only other person on my list is uh, Twisted Ash, Seth. Um, this motherfucker has inspired me to get up on YouTube and speak my mind. And I don't agree with everything that any of these guys say. Uh, I don't, I don't agree with anything that any, everybody says. I mean, it's not about agreeing with them. It's about admiring. Uh, all of them are so unique and different, and that's what I admire about them. And I'm trying, to, I'm trying to be like them because they're the ones that I see that are really keeping it real. And, you know, on that note, I'd like to say that I have uh, reason to believe that the Boy Blue 91982 is actually an undercover fed. And I don't know what you guys think, but uh, until he proves otherwise, I'm going to assume that uh, Boy Blue is actually a G Man. Uh, you know, and that makes a lot of sense. Uh, pretty much answers all my questions I ever had about that dude. So I'll check you guys later. Much clown love. See ya! Thank <laughs> you.